Everyone knows RC speed running is expensive. So my son Rory came up with a challenge. Can we hit 100 with a cheap RC car? Step one, buy a cheap chassis. Step two, add budget electronics. Step three, add a DIY aero body. Step four, send it and hopefully don't bend it. In this episode, we get the car ready, but the shakedown test sends us into full panic mode days before Rossa. Let's rewind back to the start. What is RC speedrunning and where did it come from? Well, I bet you've heard these questions before when you've been out using your RC. How fast does that go? My car's faster than yours. Prove it. Or just wondered, how fast is my RC car? Speedrunning is basically going out with a speed measuring device fitted to your RC car with the goal of answering these questions. My son Rory had been watching the same Kevin Talbot, Tom Lee RC, and Project Air videos as me that got me interested in speedrunning. And he filmed some of my early attempts. So it was only natural that he wanted some of the action. And he had the idea of this ultimate challenge, build the cheapest RC car possible that would hopefully hit 100 miles an hour. What could possibly go wrong? Why 100 miles an hour? In terms of the universe, it has no particular significance but it's still way over the road speed limit in most countries and hence impressive. It also happens to be the first cap at Rossa events. So having built the car, we will then take it to a Rossa event where Rory can push it to the limit to try and earn his 100 mile an hour cap. Instead of starting with something like the Armour Limitless, a common beginner's weapon of choice, we asked, is there a cheaper way? Rory searched. Enter the Banzai. Rory picked the Banzai. Why? Because it's cheap, yet it has an all-metal drivetrain. Also, spares and upgrades are widely available, and at one-tenth scale, it's not too big and not too small. Perfect for beginners and perfect for our budget challenge. There are ready-to-run options with brushed electric and nitro to choose from, but we went for the rolling chassis to let us choose our own electronics and probably learn more along the way. We initially spec the electronics for maybe 60 miles an hour, according to my calculation spreadsheet, with the idea that we could gear up to get higher speed, which, looking back, was optimistic. We searched for a body for the Banzai. There were some nice GTs available, but we weren't sure if they'd fit the Banzai, and we wanted enclosed wheels and floor for aerodynamics. And they were pricey. So to keep costs low and aerodynamics, uh, high, we decided to design a custom body and make it by 3D printing. So that I knew how large the body had to be to fit around the chassis, but also avoid making it larger than necessary, I started off by getting someone I know to 3D scan the car. Having got that into CAD, I found it was too detailed and it slowed down the CAD package too much. The solution was to make a simplified CAD model. I realised that I could have just done this at the start by taking measurements of the car with a ruler, so bear that in mind if you ever want to design your own shell. Let me know if you want a detailed video on how I did this. By the way, I'm using Onshape here, my favourite cloud-based CAD package. Because it's cloud-based, you can use it anywhere and on any PC, which is great for getting your designing done on the go. It also never crashes, which is amazing, and saves a lot of time compared to other CAD software. You can get a free pro licence using my link in the description. Having got my clearance envelopes and mounting points ready, I could wrap a shell around it. I went for a very simple shape, taking some inspiration from the beast body. I did this based on my experience, since I didn't have time for CFD analysis on this one. Getting to this stage was fast. What took more time was adding the detail of how it was going to split down the middle and, and be joined, because it was too large to print in one piece, and how the fin would be mounted with the aerial tube going through it. I got it done and sent it to print. If you want to print your own, you can get the files from my merch store. The next stages were printing it, assembling it, and getting it on the car. This went surprisingly smoothly, and it was looking great. Was it totally unique? Yes. But was it more work than buying a shell? Yes. A lot. And was it cheaper? 
It was, a little bit. And was it stronger? Well, we'll see. We headed out to our usual test zone, with the aim of seeing what the Banzai could do, starting on two cell. Hopefully the body will stay in one piece. Make sure you leave plenty of time to break, yeah. That... Yeah, that was good, yeah, that was good. Bad driving now. That's... She runs, well. she runs well, she runs well. It's got a good stance, hasn't it? Like a good nose down. Oh, God. Oh, I'll turn it around and bring it back then. It's too low down at the front for some reason. Why is that? What's it done? It's, oh, it's broken the whole front off. Oh, my God. That is kind of funny, I suppose. Uh, yeah. First breakage of the mini beast. It's because it's, it's on a layer line. Oh. What speed have we got out of it so off. far then? Yeah. It is on. Yeah. Stop. Read. 43, that's pretty that good. Was, that was huge. On two cell. So this is running it without the body because we've just broken it. Rory was on a mission now to beat the benchmark that I'd set of 43 miles an hour. Yeah, good. Check the speed. Oh, 41. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well oh, done, Rory. He was determined and kept trying. Yes. That looked fast. What do you think? I think 45. Ooh. Yeah, that'd be cool. Ooh, 42, oh, 42, you're one mile an hour off from out my one, 43. Just go a bit smoother on the throttle this time, maybe. Yeah, well done, well held. Okay, stop. Speed. Oh, 42 again, oh. You got another go. <laughs> Got this. It was great to see Rory's confidence building with every run. Yeah, that's it, get it on the line, yeah. All right, bring it over. <laughs> so that was full throw from like, um, like a lot longer. Yeah, well, let's see, before. let's see. And that was, yeah, okay. Fine. Stop. Oh, I think, I'm not sure it was, because yeah, it, no, it, it didn't, it just didn't. But I still... Oh, oh you equaled me. Well done. Rory did it. He equaled the benchmark speed I'd set earlier with the body on. Now it was time to go for three sails and see what this thing can really do. But Rory wasn't feeling confident on this narrow road, so it was over to me. It's probably going to absolutely rip now. Uh, I hope you don't crash it. Then. Yeah, me too. Uh, yeah. Oh my god. <sighs> that was mental. <laughs> she runs well, indeed, is it? Let's see how hot it is. It's warm, but not hot. Yeah, that's good. Good setup. All right, let's check the Jeep. What do you reckon? 50? Um, 55, easy. 55? 60, I don't know. Nah. I reckon 50. 50, yeah. 50, 55. 58! Oh, I told you. Still, with the Should we stop on. then now, or do you uh, think? Or? Maybe, yeah. Try and get six. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna, I want to try and get 60, I'm so. 60, yeah. right, let's get it Oh, yeah, that has, that has been sick. Oh, it's kind really good. My car's better than your car. I like it. I'm thinking, I'm thinking of building one up for myself. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to copy my colours now. 
Yeah. Right, was that 60? I reckon it probably was. Yeah, that looked like it. Is that any more power for any longer? Uh, I think I held it a little longer. Right, let's give it a go. Stop. 60, yes. Yeah, I think, should we wrap it up there then? Yeah, let's, let's wrap it, yeah. She works oh, well. So the body broke, but even without it, we got the Banzai up to 60 miles an hour on 3S. And that meant with only two weeks left before the event, we had a big problem. Our 3S setup wasn't going to get anywhere near 100 miles an hour. The gearing idea from earlier couldn't give us much more speed. With no spur gear size options available and only space to guard two teeth on the pinion, we could only get about four miles an hour from that. This is a drawback of the Banzai that we wouldn't have time to tackle now. So we did what every speedrunner eventually does, bought more power. I ordered the highest KV 3650 motor I could find and a 4S capable ESC that would just arrive in time for Rossa. I hadn't spotted this good option when I ordered the first ESC. With the higher KV and 4S power, the predicted top speed was 120 miles an hour, but at a fairly insane 107,000 RPM. This might be bad, but at least we would have some options to try to get us higher than 60 miles an hour. Then I reinforced the body with a layer of thin fiberglass cloth, which added a massive amount of strength. I also made a V2 version that was slimmed down a little to reduce drag, so we had a spare. I got them painted up in a typical Steve Eng fade scheme with Rory's choice of colours, and finally we were Rossa ready. I said we're doing this on a budget, so how much have we spent so far? Well, here it is added up, not including spares, radio gear or batteries. In fact, we never did get round to buying a 4-cell battery. So, the whole car for £207. Not super cheap, but not bad. If it can do 100 miles an hour, it might seem like a real bargain. In episode 2, we take the Banzai to the Rossa Speed Trials, and everything that could go wrong probably does. But did Rory get his 100 mile an hour hat? You'll have to watch to find out. Subscribe so you don't miss episode 2, and let's see just how fast a budget RC car can go.